The phrase glass ceiling refers to an invisible barrier that prevents someone from achieving further success. It is most often used in the context of someone's age, gender, or ethnicity, keeping them from advancing to a certain point in a business, or when he or she cannot or will not be promoted to a higher level of position or power. Glass ceilings are most often observed in the workplace and are usually a barrier to achieving power and success equal to that of a more dominant population. An example would be a woman who has better skills, talent, and education than her male peers, but is obviously being passed over for promotions. The glass ceiling metaphor in the business world is a reference to an employee's rise up the ranks of an organization. In theory, nothing prevents a woman from being promoted, but women can see that the higher they are in the company, the more promotions, pay raises, and opportunities they should have. Instead of being able to achieve the same success as peers, those who encounter glass ceilings are stopped by invisible obstacles that prevent them from rising further. The frustrating thing about this kind of oppression is that it is covert and cannot be seen. Instead of being a tangible barrier that would be easy to identify, a glass ceiling in the workplace persists in very subtle ways. In the 1960s, racism and sexism in the workplace were common, frequent, and accepted. For example, even the classified ads listings for men's jobs and women's jobs were separate. However, by the 80s, people were beginning to see that such discrimination was not okay. It is unknown exactly who first used the term glass ceiling. However, this term was first printed in a 1984 book by Gay Bryant entitled The Working Woman Report, which examined the status of women in the workplace. A 1986 Wall Street Journal story popularized the term as well. This story also investigated the barriers women confronted at high levels of corporations. In 1991, the Federal Glass Ceiling Commission was established to gather information and study opportunities for and barriers to the advancement of women and minorities. Today, the phrase is often used in the media. When women or minorities have made gains or achieved some success in the workplace, this progress is sometimes referred to as cracking the glass ceiling. The phrase glass ceiling refers to an invisible barrier that prevents someone from achieving further success. It is most often observed in the workplace. It is covert and cannot be seen. The term was first printed in a 1984 book by Gay Bryant. Cracking the glass ceiling is the phrase used when women or minorities have made gains or achieved some success in the workplace.